Stoneware and Company has been around since the 1800s as a staple in the Paris Town neighborhood and for many, a popular place to grab a Christmas gift. Our Sam Carter is there live this morning. He's showing us how they get in the holiday spirit. Hey, Sam. Absolutely, Carrie. Let me take you back to the year 1815. Funnily enough, the War of 1812 is ending after the Battle of New Orleans and the Lewis Pottery Company is getting ready to start. That would form into Stoneware and Company. Right. And more than 200 years later, the right. owner, the steward, the president of it is Steve Smith. Steve, we're in your unbelievably cool museum that you guys have made here. Talk to me a little bit about where we are and really the history of Stoneware in Louisville. Well, so we're one of the oldest companies in America. We're, this is basically the beginning of our factory tour. And we're the last standing great American stoneware factory. So all, everybody else is gone except for us. <laughs> and uh, we, we like to say we're stubborn, but uh, we've been around for quite a while. But the factory kind of takes you through the history, uh, not only of Louisville, but the history of America. Stoneware was the Tupperware of its day, and it was the safe storage container that everybody needed. As Louisville, you know, around 1815, Louisville became the gateway to the West. And this was the only safe and storage, storage container for your most precious goods, which would have been salt and sugar at that point. Yeah, and we really can't underline enough that westward expansion was happening rapidly at that moment. Unbelievable. You know, Louisville's population from 1815 forward all the way up into the Civil War grew. It doubled every year, and, and it was just a population explosion as the manufacturing exploded, the people exploded, and, and Lewis Pottery just happened to be in the right place at the right time. As the best companies always yeah. are. I mean, it's one of these things where you really couldn't have the America we know it today without westward expansion, right. and you couldn't have had westward expansion without a safe way to store your sugar, your salt, your food, right. and that's where stoneware comes in. But I want to show people this, because there's really no more Kentucky product than bourbon, and this is kind of the original way it was made, well, bourbon moonshine, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, so as you break down it from a barrel, these were the early growlers of the day. And as you can see, also early uh, advertising pieces. So you wanted to make sure that you knew where to go get your jug refilled. <laughs> and uh, so there would be a cask of whiskey in these general stores, and you'd bring the jug back, and they would have a tap. They'd fill it up with bourbon and then you would take it home and start all over again. Guys, this is a great way to introduce somebody you know and love to Louisville. You're new in town like me, your folks coming to visit you for the holidays, take them on a tour of Stoneware, or maybe you get them a gift from Stoneware. You couldn't have America without Westward Expansion, and you couldn't have Westward Expansion without Stoneware. We are here all morning, really excited for the next half hour. Can't wait to show you guys what's going on. Sam, thank you so much for the history lesson this morning. I mean, it's always good to be reminded that these staple um, businesses, Matt, that are here in Louisville have so much his history with them. Yeah. You can get a fantastic gift uh, as well, which right this time of year,